Welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today's bracelet shows you how you can combine an assortment of chain, some leftover beads that work together, and make yourself something quite lovely. So to make this bracelet you will need 10 8 to 10 millimeter beads and 12 6 millimeter beads, three different types of chain, five charms or you can make your own charms stringing beads on head pins, You'll need 20 gauge wire, head pins, a toggle clasp, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. The first thing to do is measure your toggle clasp to see how much length it uses. Subtract that length from your desired finished bracelet length and cut a piece of chain to that length. Then you're going to cut a one and a quarter inch piece of your 20 gauge wire and make a mark with a sharpie at, on your round nose pliers at the two millimeter point. And then place the wire against that point and make a simple loop. Once you finish the loop, go ahead and kink it back to center it over the wire. And then slide on your bead. And repeat on the other side to make another simple loop. This makes your bead links. Repeat for all of your eight to 10 millimeter beads. For the six millimeter beads, slide them onto a head pin, trim the wire three eighths of an inch above the bead, and then also make a simple loop with your round nose pliers and center it over the bead. There's that one, repeat for all your smaller beads. And for your charms, you can use jump rings or slide them onto head pins and then repeat the trimming and making of loops to make them into dangles. So these are all our components. And now it's time to arrange everything. One strand will have six of the larger beads and no dangles and then another strand will have four beads and all of your dangles. So now it's time to cut your chain into small pieces. I like to cut this twisted chain because I find it difficult to uh, open it like a jump ring and then twist it back together properly. So I just cut off the pieces I need. Open your loops with round nose pliers to the side, um, yeah, twist it to the side, don't pull it open and distort your shape. And then make sure you close it securely. And keep adding small bits of chain to connect these bead links. Your ultimate goal is to have all six beads on one length of chain that is perhaps just slightly larger than the chain that you first cut. That's because the beads take up some thickness. So go ahead and repeat to connect all of these bead links together and also use a different chain to connect your lower beads. And here they are, all done. And now it's time to take all of your bead dangles, your charms and your bead dangles, and just arrange them in an order that you like. For my little bead dangles, I found these small square uh, beads that were di drilled diagonally and I just added an odd assortment of metal beads to each one. So they're all alike in that they all have the square bead and they all work together. So once you have those all arranged, go ahead and use your chain nose pliers. And I really like my bent nose chain nose pliers for this to help get into the small spaces and just open those loops and attach them to this length of chain. Make sure they're closed securely so you don't miss anything, so you don't lose anything. And then just add them all to the chain. And there it is, all done. Now I've gone ahead and added split rings to the loops in my toggle clasp pieces because the loops are a little small to accommodate the three ends of chain. And then all you'll do is add all the ends of one to one piece um, on one end and all the other ends to the other piece. Um, a split ring is kind of like if a keychain and these are split ring pliers which help hold it open for you. So there I am putting all the links on one side on one part of the clasp and then I'll put all the links on the other side and here I am, uh, sorry it's out of frame, just using a pair of chain nose pliers to help twist that on. And here it is all done. So I hope that you've enjoyed this project and that you'll give it a try. 
pull together an assortment of chain and beads and make yourself a bracelet that you'll really love. Thank you so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. Up on the screen are two more videos you might enjoy watching. If you like this video, please be sure to click like and also hit subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. And be sure to visit my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net, where I have lots more jewelry and sewing and crafting ideas and inspiration. Happy creating. Bye-bye.